بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير So let's continue with the exercises for lesson number 15 We have learned about تخفيف تخفيف means to make something light and we have seen in the past and the examples from the Quran that Alya al mutakallim most of the times in the Quran it is dropped and this uslub is only uh, restricted to the Quran uh, for example lakum dinukum waliyadini it was basically waliyadini my religion but the noon ya al mutakallim has been dropped because of takhfif Similarly, when we say Rabbish Rahli Shadri, so it was basically Rabbi and Ya Al Mutakallim has been dropped, so we said Rabbish Rahli Shadri. And similarly, when we say Rabbi Zidni Ilma, so it's basically Rabbi, so Ya Al Mutakallim has been dropped. And we have seen uh, many other examples and many other verses of the Quran uh, where Ya Al Mutakallim gets dropped for takhfif. Now this is the second uslub of the Qur'an where uh, there is further takhfif as we will see over here. Uh, so yakunu as we know that kana yakunu is the present tense of kana. And when we use lam before this, uh, we know that when we use lam, then the mudare becomes sakin. So it becomes yakun. And uh, as we have discussed many times that when we have a weak letter, and then more than one change or mostly two or three changes take place so normally two changes take place so what happens number one the ending becomes sakin and that is because of lam as we know that and now we have iltaqaw sakinain we have noon and wow and when we have iltaqaw sakinain then the weak letter will be dropped so it becomes yakun lam yakun Okay, now we know that this is a regular construction of the Arabic language. And when we talk about the Qur'an, then what happens that it is only uh, restricted to the Qur'an that for takhfif, even the noon gets dropped. So it becomes lam yaku. It was basically lam yakun, but the noon has been dropped. So how many changes have taken place basically? Uh, three changes. Change number one that we know that after lam, uh, the mudare becomes majzum. And number two, if there is a weak letter, then the weak letter will be dropped. And then now the third change that takes place over here, uh, that the noon also gets dropped. So, so uh, yakunu becomes yakun, takunu becomes takun, akunu becomes akun, and nakunu becomes nakun. This is uh, point number six in the handouts that we discussed in the beginning of the lesson. So here we can see that uh, yakunu is yaku. Takunu is taku, and uh, akunu is aku, and nakunu is naku. And it only happens when we have lam before that. When we have lam before that. Uh, if we see the examples of the Quran, walam aku baghiya, and I was not an unchaste woman from Surah Maryam. So we can see over here that basically it was akunu, and then it became akun, and then after further takhfif, it became aku. Similarly, وَقَدْ خَلَقْتُكَ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَلَمْ تَكُوْ شَيَّا Again from Surah Maryam we have this example. So it was takun and then it becomes وَلَمْ تَكُوْ شَيَّا And then we have قَالُوا لَمْ نَكُوْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ So it was basically nakun and then the changes have taken place and then it has become naku. And they said we were not among those who perform salat or prayer. So now we can see over here that we have seen that there are two uh, places in the Quran where this takhfif takes place. Number one, it takes place with Ya al mutakallim And number two, it takes place with uh, Yakun, Takun, Akun, and Nakun. And when they are preceded by Lam. So these are the two places in the Quran. And there are 18 verses of the Quran where this expression has been used. 18 places in the Quran uh, where Either it is yaku or taku or aku or naku. Exercise number four. Hati ashrata amthilatin. 
Um, now we have to bring or we have to give 10 examples للشرطي والجوابي for the condition and answer to the condition على أن يكون الجواب في كل واحد منها على النحو التالي that the answer in every condition has to be according to the situations that we have or that, that have been given below. Okay, now we know that Hati is basically uh, Fail Al-Amr and uh, because of that, after that, Ashrata is uh, Mansub and Amthilatin is Majroor. Why it is Majroor? Does anyone remember? The numbers from 3 to 10, the numbers from 3 to 10 are used as Mudaf, Mudaf Ilayh, from 3 to 10. So that's why Ashrata is basically Mudaf and Amthilatin is Mudaf Ilayh. Okay, so the first one that we have to bring in the example is that الشرط uh, وجواب الشرط أن يكون الجواب في كل واحد منها لنحو تالي So جواب الشرط should be uh, جملة اسمية جواب الشرط should be جملة اسمية من أراد أن يقرأ هذا الكتاب فهو في المكتبة So this is the example from the lesson So whoever wants to read the book It is in the library So we can see here that جواب الشرط is uh, جملة اسمية And this is here the whole job of shart is jumla ismiya. Then it says fail and talabian, and from fail and talabian, that job of shart should be fail and talabian, and in fail and talabian, it should be amr, it should be a command. If thou right Ibrahim, faqud minhu rakmal rakma jawalihi. If you see Ibrahim, uh, take his mobile number from him. So we can see here, faqud, as we can see over here. Khud is basically Amrun, so that's why we have here Jawab Talab is an Amr. Fakhud minhu Rakma Jawalihi. So Jawab Shart here, Jawab Shart here is Amr. Why Fa is added to that? Does anyone remember? Fa is added to that because. It is connected to Fa'lan Talabiyan. So whenever Fa'lan Talabiyan happens to be the answer or Jawab Shart, then Fa will be added to that. And why Fa is added over here? Uh, one of the conditions we have seen that when Jawab Shart is Jumna Ismiya, then Fa will be added to that. These small things you need to remember. Fa'lan Talabiyan, uh, then it should be also Fa'lan Talabiyan. And in Talab, what do we have to bring now Jawab Shart? Jawab Shart should be Nahi, prohibition. So we can see over here the example. If Bilal comes to you, and don't say anything to him. So as we can see over here, Jawab Shart is Nahi. La. La Taqul. So we know that Taqul is basically Majzoom um, over here. And Fala Taqul Lahu Shayyan. Don't say anything to him. Then we have Fail and Talabian Al Istifham. Then it should be Istifham. Yani it should be a question. So in the question, uh, we will have over here. إذا سألني المدير عنك If the manager asks me about you فماذا أقول له So what should I tell him? So now we can see here فماذا So basically ماذا is a question and فا is added to that uh, because whenever جواب الشرط is طلب and جملة طلبية it can be Amr or fail, or it could be Amr or Nahi or Istifham, then Fa will be added to that. Muqtarinan bilan. Now, Jawab Shart should be connected with or preceded by Lan. Man lam yanjah fi hadha al ikhtibari al basiti, whoever does not succeed in this easy exam, falan yanjaha fi al ikhtibari sanabi, he will not succeed in the annual exam. So now we can see here that falan yanjaha. So we can see that falan uh, is connected with uh, fa. Why? Because whenever lan happens to be jawab shart, then fa will be added to that. So this is we have the example of jawab shart muqtarinan bilan. Then we have muqtarinan bima annafiyati. Jawab shart should be connected with ma annafiya. Mahma ansa fama ansa. قولك الجميلة Whatever I may forget but I will not forget uh, your beautiful قول uh, or, or, or kalam or the talk uh, or, or the word that you said to me So now we can see over here 
فما أنسى so this is here again لا النافية I will not forget so جواب الشرط here has ما النافية so these things you need to remember that when جواب الشرط is جملة اسمية فا will be connected to that when it is جملة طلبية فا will be connected to that similarly if لن happens to be جواب الشرط فا will be added to that and if it is ما النافية when جواب الشرط is ما النافية then فا uh, will be added to that مقترنا بسوفا so we have also learned that whenever جواب الشرط is سوفا then فا will be added to that so it, it says من جاء متأخرا whoever comes late so this is شرط and جواب الشرط is فسوف يشرح له الدرس الدروس السابقة the teacher will explain the, uh, the previous lessons to him so here we can see that سوفا is جواب الشرط and we know that when سوفا is جواب الشرط then fa will be connected to that. Next we have مقترن بالسيني. So سين and سوفا both of them are used for the future. Um, the example over here as we can see. من نسي كتابه uh, whoever forgets his book فسا يجد نسخة منه عند المراقب uh, so he will find its copy with the controller. So now we can see over here فسا يجد he will find so because we have seen over here, that's why جواب الشرط is connected with فا is connected with جواب الشرط. Number nine, فعل جامد. جواب الشرط should be فعل جامد. What is فعل جامد? Does anyone remember? The word ليس sir. Excellent. Like ليس, like أسا. That they they have only the past tense. They don't have present or they don't have فعل الأمر. Excellent. من يفعل هذا؟ Whoever does this فليس من طلاب جامعتنا uh, So he is not among the students of our university So من يفعل, ذا, uh, من يفعل هذا And then we can see فليس uh, ليس is فعل جامد And that's why جواب الشرط And it is connected with ف And the last one مقترنا بقد uh, So the جواب الشرط should be connected with قد من فهم هذا الدرس فقد فهم الكتاب كله so this is amazing sentence over here. Uh, who whoever understands this lesson, uh, indeed he has understood the whole book. So we have learned that the, the, the Sheikh says that فقد فهم دروسا كثيرة that he has understood a lot of lessons. But here we say that whoever uh, is able to understand this lesson, uh, that means he has understood the whole book. And literally, uh, because this lesson, uh, as we know, consists of lots of ideas and uh, most of the ideas are used in the Quran. So we can see over here, فقد, we know that when قد is جواب الشرط, then فا will be added to that. So these are some examples. Uh, then we move on to the next lesson, uh, next exercise. أدخل كل من أدوات الشرط الآتية في جملة مفيدة. Now, all of the instruments of condition, uh, we have to use them in a suitable sentence. In so we have uh, the answers over here. Uh, we can just quickly go through the answers. Uh, now it's up to you to, for practice. You can take examples from the Quran. That will be the best thing to do. That for each and every adat uh, al I try to take one example from the Quran and then write it next to the example. Or we have some examples over here. In, in Tajtahid Tanjah, we have discussed about this. If you work hard, you will succeed. Man, man yarsub marrataini yufsal. Uh, whoever fails twice, his name will be struck off. Uh, yani he will be expelled from the school or college. Yufsal, as we know, as we can see over here, that this is passive. So man is adat shat and yatsub is uh, basically yatsubu. And then it has become majzum because of man. Maratayni twice, yufsal, as again also it is majzum. Ma, ma tashrab ashrab. Whatever you drink, I will drink. Uh, so ma tashrab is fail uh, shart and ashrab is adatush jawab uh, shart. Mahma, whatever. Mahma takunin natija tu, whatever the whatever the result may be. Falan akufa anid dawati, I will not stop doing dawa. Yani giving dawa to the people, whatever the result may be, uh, whether the people listen to me or not, I will not stop giving dawa to the people. As we know, uh, al-amru uh, bin-nahwi wal-nahi anil-munkar. 
that we always have to do dawa of uh, telling people to do good things and to stop them from doing bad things mata mata takhruj akhruj whenever you leave i will leave aina we know that aina and normally ma is connected to that and this ma is used for emphasis aina ma kunna ja'ana al mautu wherever we may be death will come to us yani all of us are going to meet the death then we have ayun ayya murjam in tashtari ashtari whatever dictionary you buy i will buy so these are some of the examples of adat uh, al and then um, you can you can have more examples if you want from the quran itself kam marratin qulta li hakada how many times you said like this to me hadhihi kamil khabariyatu so if we connect it it would be hadhihi kamil khabariyatu uh, this is kam al khabariya wa ma'naha kathirun and it means a lot it means a lot so basically kam al khabariya is used to mean something a lot wa ma'na al jumlati so the meaning of the ma'na will be qultu li hakada marratin kathiratan yani i said this to you many many times so this intense it means I said this to to you several times. Now we will mention some of its rulings. Nafkuru, uh, we will mention Bada as we know here is Mudaf. Ahkamiha is Mudaf Aleh. And at the same time, Bada is Mansub. Why it is Mansub? Because it is Maful Bihi of Nadkuru. Yani Nahnu Nadkuru. So we know that fail is Nahnu, Nadkuru is fail, and Bada is Maful Bihi. Uh, we have discussed this many times. Arafta anna, you have known that kamil istifhamiyata tamizuha mansubin, mansubun. That kam al istifhamiya, its its tamiz is mansub. For example, nahu, for example, kam kitabun indaka, how many books do you have? So this is basically kamil uh, istifhamiya, which is basically used to ask a question. So we know that after kam al istifhamiya, the noun is mansub, it is singular, and it is nakira. Three things that we need to know. When we uh, uh, and fourth, I will add the fourth thing that we need to add is in the end we have to have a question mark. So it four things we need to know that it should be mansub, it should be nakira, it should be singular, and in the end it should have question mark because it is used to ask a question. وَيَجُوزُ جَرُّهُ إِذَا جُرَّتْ كَمْ بِحَرْفٍ جَرٍ And similarly, كَمْ الْإِسْتِفْحَامِيَ can be majroor if there is harf jar before it. وَيَجُوزُ and it is possible. جَرُّهُ it's jar. As we know that jar means to drag something. جَرُّهُ and it's a place of or حالة جر. إِذَا جُرَّتْ If it is made majroor. جُرَّتْ as we know that this is basically passive. And why it is feminine جُرَّتْ because we know that kam is basically a harf and this is also feminine. So if we have harf jar ba before this, then the tamiz of kam can be mansub and it can be majroor. If you look at the example, inshallah it will be easier. Nahbu, for example, become realan hadil qalamu. How much or how many reals is this pen for? So number one, this is the standard construction. The standard construction is that after kam, the noun will be mansub, but because of harf jarba, it can be majroor as well. Become real in had al qalamu. How many reals is this pen for? So there is a possibility that it can be majroor or it can remain as it is uh, when we have harf jarba before it. I would say we go with the standard construction, whether we have ba before it or not, just to make uh, things easier for us. We will go only with the uh, with the tabjiz which is mansub, which is mansub. Whereas then we say amma tamizu kam al khabariyati as far as the tamiz of kam al khabariya is concerned, fayajibu jarruhu. It is necessary that it must be majroor. Now when we talk about the tamiz of kam al khabariya, then its tamiz must be, uh, it must be majroor. Nahu, for example. Kam najmin hissamai. And then also we can see over here that it has exclamation mark. How many stars are there? Or how many stars are in the sky? So now we can see over here that this is kam al-khabariya. And it is used to talk about 
كثيرون يعني the, the number of something which is a lot as we can see over here وقد يجرو and similarly sometimes it is made مجرور بمن بمن نحو قاله تعالى and sometimes the تمييز of كم الخبرية can be مجرور why it can be مجرور because of من so when we have من after that then of course that its تمييز will be مجرور كم من فية قليلة غلبت فية كثيرة بإذن الله so now we can see here that after كم we have this من which can be uh, min, which is emphatic min, yani it's used for emphasis. So it is also possible that after kam, we can have min, and of course we know that after min, the noun will always be majroor. However, when we talk about kam al khabariya, whether we have min after that or not, its tabjiz will always be majroor. Did you get the idea? So the difference between kam al istifhamiya. Uh, the the come that is used to ask a question, uh, the means will be always mansub. Whereas when we talk about kamal khabariya, the means will always be majroor. The same thing over here. The means of kamal istifhamiyati mufradun. As we know that the the means of kamal istifhamiyah is mufrad. Amma the means of kamal khabariyati fa mufradun aw majbu'un. Whereas the means of kamal khabariya is concerned, it can be singular. And it can be plural. Plural means more than two. I'm just writing three over here. It means more than two. So it can be singular or it can be plural. Nahu, for example, kam kitabin muqra'ata. How many books you read? So that means you are talking about the number of books. Like, how many books have you read? Yani, a lot of books. Kam kutubin muqra'ata. How many books have you read? And there is a possibility that after kam al khabariya, we can have singular noun. And also we can have plural noun as we have seen over here. So after that we can have a plural noun and we can have a singular noun. Well, if radu aktharu wa ablagu. But the, the Sheikh has mentioned over here that the singularity or being singular, the means when the means is singular, aktharu it is used a lot, wa ablagu and it is more eloquent. It is more fasih. So it's better to use a uh, means which is singular and which is which is majrur. Now we can see over here, kam, and then we have kamil istifhamiya, kam uh, that is used to ask a question, kam kitabun indaka, how many books uh, do you have, and it's a question as we can see over here, and kamil khabariya, as we know that there are three possibilities after that, kam kitabun indaka, the sheikh says that this is ablahu wa aktharu, so we should focus on this one, kam kitabun, yani, uh, the tamiz of kamil khabariya is singular, it is majroor. How many books? How many books you have? So we will not say do you have because do you have will be a question. So how many books you have? Exclamation. Come min kitab in endaka. The meaning will be the same, but this min is extra as we can see here. And come kutub in endaka. Uh, there is a possibility that after come we can have a plural noun. We can have a singular noun. We can have a plural noun. And similarly, we can have the addition of min after that, which is used for emphasis. All right. Now um, we have to answer the questions here. How will yani change? How will you have to change? Kam al istifhamiyata. So now we have kam al istifhamiyah. Yani and kam that is used to ask a question. Fi ma yali in the following. Ila to kam al khabariyati to kam al khabariya. Kam riyalan aqidani. How many riyals did you give me? Please change it to kam al khabariya. Any how many riyals you gave me? Kam riyalin. Ahsanti. The only thing we have to do is to change it to majroor. Kam riyalin. Aqaitani. How many riyals you gave me? Kam pali bin ghabal yawma. How many students did become absent today? Or did not come today? Kam tali bin. Kam tali bin ghabal yawma. How many students were absent today? And here it is. How many students were absent today? It's like exclamation. And it's, uh, a lot of students were absent today. Come Saad and Nimta. How many hours did you sleep? You want to say like you slept for so many hours? Come. I have a doubt. Yes. 
Yeah, the before one come min Taliban. What is the difference between come Taliban and min Taliban? Yeah, ex excellent. Yani, as as we discussed about this, that when we talk about come al khabariya, come al khabariya, there are three possibilities. Then when we have tamiz after that, yani the noun that comes after that, there are three possibilities. The, number one, it could be majroor only. Number two, there can be the addition of min. So it's just to give you the example, Yani, there is a possibility that we can add min, and even if you don't add min, uh, the answer will be correct. So this min is basically used for emphasis, for further em emphasis. Is it right. also okay to use without min or yes. min also? Sir? Yeah, as we can see here. If we say, kam realin aqaitani, how many reals you gave me? But when you say kam min talibin or kam min realin aqaitani, this is double emphatic. Yani a lot of reals you gave me. So when you say kam realin aqaitani, it's exclamation. Emphasis is there. But when you say kam min realin aqaitani, then it becomes double emphatic. It becomes more emphatic. All right. Did you get the idea? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, come Saata Nimta. How many hours how many hours did you sleep? Now you are you're talking to your daughter, your son, your brother, your sister, and you want to say, How many hours have you how many hours you slept? And you slept for so many hours. How will we say? Come Excellent. Come Saata Nimta. Yani, how many hours you slept? Yani, you just keep on sleeping and, and you never any yani, uh, get tired of sleeping, you know, you know, sometimes we get tired of sleeping, we just sleep a lot, so we can say, uh, uh, how, how many hours you are, or you slept a lot, basically, it means you slept for so many hours. Now, how will come al khabariyata and now it's the opposite, now we have come al khabariya fil jumal al atiyati in the following sentences, ila kamil istifhamiyati, now we have to change them into interrogative come so come babin lil masjid al harami yani masjid masjid al haram has lots of doors or lots of uh, gates basically yeah, doors or gates yeah so we want to you want to ask a question yani how many doors are there in masjid al haram come babin lil masjid al harami come babin lil masjid yeah so now it becomes a question how many doors are there in uh, masjid, masjid al Haram. Okay, come in Masjid in Fihad al Madinat al Sugirati. How many masajid are there in this small city? And there are lots of uh, masajid in this small city. Now you want to ask a question like, how many masajid are there in this in this small city? Come, come, Masjid al Sugirati. Masjid al Sugirati. Masjid al Sugirati. Masjidan. Please remember, yeah, it be, yeah, it has to be. It has to be singular. After come, it has to be singular. It has to be nakira, and it has to be mansub when we talk about kamal istifhamiya. And let's not forget the question mark. Come dawa in tatanawalu. You take lots of medicine, yani. Okay. You want to say uh, how much medicine did you take? Kam dawa an tatanawalu. Yes, kam dawa an tatanawalu. Yani, how much medicine did you take? Yunabbihul mudarrisu at tullaba. The teacher uh, informs the students. Nabbaha yunabbihu tambihan basically means to uh, inform someone or to uh, drag the attention of someone towards something. So the teacher uh, tells the students, at tanghimi al khasi bi kullin. Min kamil istifhamiyati wa kamil khabariyati. Yani the teacher tells the students about uh, about tanqim intonation, basically the intonation of uh, of of kam. Yani when we sometimes when we are talking about something in in any language, Urdu or Arabic or English, sometimes we ask the same question, but we use different intonation. For example, how many books do you have? How many books do you have? It's a question, but we cannot see or we cannot use the question mark or we cannot say that I'm asking you a question. But when you say, how many books do you have? So from the intonation, we can say that you are showing your surprise, that you are surprised about that. So that's what basically the Sheikh means, that the teacher must tell about the intonation. Tanghim means 
Nagama, you nagremu tanreiman, basically means the intonation, the intonation of something. So the teacher tells about the intonation of al uh, khas yani the specific intonation of bikulli min kam, yani all types of kam, yani kam al istifhamiya and kam al khabariya, that when you are speaking, what kind of intonation you are supposed to use. So if it's a question, it should be regular, but if it's exclamation, then it should be a little bit louder and it should be a little bit, little bit uh, emphatic. So alamat al tarqimi al khasati bikul al minha. Yani alamat al tarqim is basically the alamat like nokta, question mark, all of them that we use the, the in the end of a question or in the end of a sentence. We call them alamat al tarqim. So alamat al tarqim al khasati bikul al minha. So the teacher should tell them uh, which. Uh, Sign are we going to use? Are we going to use a question mark or are we going to use exclamation mark? Well, by the way, in Arabic, and especially if you look at the Quran, uh, these alamat al tarqim are not uh, used a lot. Yani, in the Arabic language, we don't see them. In modern standard Arabic, we might see them. But when we are reciting the Quran, uh, please look at the translation of the Quran. When you are looking at the translation of the Quran, then you will see that there is a question mark. Or there is a quest, there is a like uh, exclamation mark in the English translation, but in of course in the Quran you can see over there that these signs are not used. Uh, whoever comes late uh, should not enter until he seeks the permission. Huna hatta bimana ila yani it means ila yani it means until. So here. Uh, we are basically going to talk about the two different meanings of hatta. Number one, it means until, that means ila. Fadakhaltu hatta la ashgalaka. I entered the classroom so that, uh, I entered the classroom basically here, here it means quietly so that I do not disturb you. Now you see from the context we have to see like, why do we say quietly? Because the student comes in the classroom and he sits quietly. Uh, so he, the student says, teacher, I came late. I did not want to bother you or to disturb you. And that's why I came quietly and I sat in the classroom. Uh, so that I do not disturb you or so that I do not make you busy. So here, hatta means so that. Here it gives the meaning of lamit ta'lil. Do you remember the meaning of lamit ta'lil? I hope you don't, for, for, you don't forget it means ay likayla likay ashgalaka yani likayla ashgalaka so that i do not make you busy or i do not disturb you so when we say likay it means so that and when we say when we say hatta here it means until so it has two meanings number 1 it means until and number 2 it means so that so when we say until it means ila it gives the meaning of ila and when we say so that, it gives the meaning of likai. It gives the meaning of so that. وَيَكُونُ الْفِعْلِ الْمَضَارِ وَبَعْدَهَا مَنْسُوبًا And the fail madari after that becomes mansub. Why? بِأَنْ مُضْمَرَةً وُجُوبًا Because there is a hidden an into that. And we have seen there over there that there is a hidden an into that. Because of that an, the madari becomes mansub after hatta. And the example is over here. It was yasta'dhinu, but because of hatta, it has become yasta'dhina. So it basically gives the meaning of uh, likai, so that. Iqra'il jumal al Now we have to read the following sentences. Ma'adabti al-afal al With the, the verbs that come, or the, the verbs that follow. Ba'da hatta, after hatta. Wa'ta'yini, ayyana yu'ayyinu ta'yinan. And then you have to specify ma'na, the meaning Hatta of hatta. So specify the meaning of hatta in each of the following sentences and vocalize the verb in the following sentences. Ajtahidu layla nahara hatta anjaha bitaqdeer mamtazin. So here, I will not translate it. I would like you to give me the meaning. Is it translated as ila or is it translated as likai? Does it mean until or does it mean so that? Ila, Ustaz, until you. Perfect. So, I will work or I work day and night 
حتى على Until, until I make I my my wudu, okay. okay. So here it means. Does it mean likay or ila? Ila. 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 Bimana ila. Yani until. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه. No one can be a believer until he likes. For his brother, whatever he likes for himself. Yes. Mana likay or ila? Ila. Bimana ila. Yani la yu minu ahadakum hatta yu hibba li akhihi. No one can be a true believer until he likes for his brother. Ma yani mana alladhi yu hibbu li nafsihi. Whatever he likes for himself. Subhanallah. وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس أجمعين. No one can be a true believer until I become closer to him or محب to him more than أحب إليه من. So here من من means more than والده his father وولده and his son. والناس أجمعين and more than all the people in the world. Yes, here it means لكي or إلى 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 yes. So here, it's again it's a very beautiful hadith which basically tells us and teaches us to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم and we must love him when we follow his follow his teachings more than our parents more than our children and more than the rest of the people in the world and after that condition uh, we will be closer to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so now we have to see that uh, in the context of this hadith that are we really any um, following this and are we really uh, do we really love our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to this extent uh, to the extent of the hadith that we have seen over here because because what is happening these days in the world, as you see that lots of fitnas are in are over there, like sometimes in, in New, sometimes in Denmark, sometimes in India, sometimes other countries of the world where people have uh, these offensive things about uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So if we love him uh, to the extent uh, where as we are supposed to love him, then inshallah such things will not happen. And even such things, if, if such thing, things happen. Then if we are true lovers and believers and if we have true love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then we will behave in a very normal, in a, in a very rational and in a very proper way. And we will follow what we have been told to follow. I left my house earlier. Yes, so that, so that likay, excellent. So that. I didn't want to translate because then um, you will not be able to answer. So that la atakhara anil mawidi, so that I do not become late from my appointment. So we can see over here, atakhara is mansub because of hatta. Qala al mudiru li talibi. The manager said to the student, lan asma halaka bil haduri. I will not allow you to attend. Hatta naatadira ila al mudarrisi. You. Apologize to the teacher. Until. Until. Ahsanti. Bimana ila until you apologize to the teacher. Excellent. Ta'amal al mithala. Reflect on the example. Thumma kawin jumalan ala ghirarihi. Then make a sentence on its pattern. Musta'inan by seeking help. Bil ibarati al atiyati. From the given texts. So we have to make the make the sentences. Based on the example that we have over here, al-mithalu, the example, intadir, wait, 
hatta atawadda'a until I make my wudu. So now we have here albasu. Uh, so we have the answers over here. Intadir hatta albasa. Wait until I dress up. And then we have ashrab al qahwata. Intadir hatta ashrab al qahwata. Wait until I drink I drink my coffee. Then we have nasma al akhbara. Intadir hatta nasma al akhbara. Wait until I listen or we listen to the news. Aktubu risalata. Intadir hatta aktubu risalata. Wait until I write the message. And then ya'uduna. Intadir hatta ya'udu. Wait until they come back. So we know that uh, after hatta, we know that the uh, the mudare becomes mansub. And when it becomes mansub, uh, if there is noon, then the noon gets dropped, as we can see over here. And extra alif is added, so it becomes ya'udu until they come back. So these are the answers that I have here for you. But I would strongly recommend that you make your own sentences, um, at least one sentence for each word or each uh, uh, phrase that we have over here. Uh, so that uh, we can, uh, we are able to make sentences by ourselves. Ha um elanen, take the advertisement or take the announcement. So ha ismu fi'lin, bimana khud. So ha is basically ismu fi'l, and it takes the meaning, it gives the meaning of khud, yani take. Taqulu, you say ha al kitaba ya aliyu. So if you're taking to, uh, talking to a singular person, then we will say ha'a. And if we are talking to the plural, uh, then we will say ha'um. And when we know that uh, when meme is sakin, and when we connect meme sakin with al, then it is connected with dhamma. Ha'um al-kitaba ya ikhwatu. Take the book, O oh brothers. Why the noun after ha is mansub? Because this is it's yes, fail al amr, excellent. So it's basically yani ha al kitaba yani anta ya aliyu. And when we say ha umul kitaba yani antum ya ikhwatu. And when we are talking to a singular feminine, we will say ha il kitaba ya aminatu. Uh, take the book, O Amina. So it is ha il kitaba. And when we talk to the uh, feminine, uh, which is plural, it will be ha unna al kitaba ya akhawatu. Take the book, O oh, sisters. Rafit tanzili, and in the Quran, ha u mukra'u kitabiya. Take, read my book. Okay, what about this ha? Do you remember this ha? Please tell me about this. Taki, dosta. Uh, no. Does anyone remember? This is ha sakt. It is basically uh, added in the Quran, uh, which is basically uh, we have this also in fa ummahu habiya iqra'u kitabiya. So this is basically ha sakt, which is basically used in the Quran, uh, just because uh, to maintain the 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 wasn the weight of or just to maintain the uh, flow of the Quran. Uh, so al qari'ah ma al qari'ah wa ma adraka ma al qari'ah so we have ha 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 in the end and this ha basically happens when ta marbuta when ta marbuta when 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 we make it sakin then it becomes ha you know that right uh, this is the rule of the taj tajweed that when we stop on ta al marbuta then it becomes ha basically it is al qari'atu but when we stop then it becomes al qari'ah so this is used, uh, I think it's like used in like five to six muqamat in the Quran, uh, where this is used, uh, ha asakt, which is used basically to maintain the, the weight of the verses of the Quran. You need to remember these small uh, details, because if we have ta marbuta on that, if we have two dots on that, then it will be ta al marbuta. And we know that ta al marbuta is used when something is feminine but here we have this ha you are just saying the, the person is saying kitabi my book and then because ha has been, has been added to that so bas basically it is similar to ta al marbuta and you remember the rule that ta al marbuta always takes fatha before that and that's why fatha has been added to that so it has become kitabiyah 
my book translation will be my book but this ya and ha they are added to that surah haqqa so this is what, what's the name of the surah haqqa so when we stop on that it will be haqqa similar to this ha it will be similar to this ha all right this is i think we took it in book two kutayyibun tasghiru kitabin tasghir saghara yusaghiru tasghiran means to make something smaller kabbara yukabbiru takbiran to make something bigger that's why we say takbir allahu akbar yani we glorify allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tasghir it happens for two reasons do you remember those two reasons I, 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 we discussed in the beginning of the lesson. Does someone remember? There are two reasons. Number one, uh, when you, uh, when you are trying to express your love and care for someone, we use this. And number two, uh, when you are, when someone is being sarcastic, and when you look down upon someone, and then we use this expression. So it was used like in the, the Arabs in the past. Uh, they used to use this expression uh, when they wanted to look down upon someone, and then they might use this expression. It used they used to use it in the in the Arabic poetry, and uh, normally in 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 modern standard Arabic these days, uh, this tasqir is not used a lot, since it's the part of the Arabic language. Uh, that's why Sheikh has mentioned mentioned over here. So we have different auzan for this. Litasqiri, thalathatu abniyatin. It has three constructions abniyatin is the plural of banaya bani banyun and then the plural is abniyatin it has three constructions wahiya and they are fu'ilun which is the most common now for example from najmun we have nujaymun and it is majroor because of min okay so najmun nujaymun jabalun jubailun you know the city that i live in in saudi arabia the name of the city is Jubail. Jubail. So this is basically, there was a mountain over here, they say, but this mountain was too small or maybe too big. And that's why they named this city as Jubail. Uh, and then we have Abudun, and from Abudun we have Ubaidun. Can you give me one example from the Quran? Does anyone remember? Quraishun. Quraishun. Ruwaidun, Ruwaidun, Famahilhum, Ruwaida, Leila fi Quraish. So, Fu'ilun, these examples have been used in the Quran. But Fu'ay, Fu'ayilun, and now it's a good practice for your practice for your Makharij and, and how to use speak the Arabic language. So, it will be Fu'ayilun, Nahu. From Fundukun, we will say Funaydikun. Funaydikun. Funduk means a hotel. Funaydik means a small hotel. Dirhamun, Durayhimun. Uh, dirham means uh, Dirham and Durayhimun. Maybe if someone doesn't have lots of money, maybe. And from Kitabun, it is Kutayyibun. Now here, we can see over here that uh, two changes have taken place. What are those two changes? This Alif, it was basically Alif. It has changed into Ya. And then there is a tashdeed on that. We know that the weak letters, most of the times these weak letters, they get changed. And then uh, we have, um, yeah, they are just like changed with one another. So we can see here, it's not kutayyibun, it is kutayyibun. So basically it was kitabun and kitabun means a book. And what's the meaning of kutayyibun? It means booklet. Small. Booklet, yeah, or a small book, yes. And Shahidun, and from Shahidun we have Shuhayyidun. Now we have over here uh, Fu'ilun, it has four letters, and Fu'ayilun, it has five letters one, two, three, four, and five. And then we have Fu'ayilun, it has six letters, so four, five, and six. So for, for example, Miftahun, and from Miftahun we have Mufaytihun, Mufaytihun, small key, I don't know literally what does it mean then then we have kap pinjanun punayjinun uh, i know that arabs uh, for for drinking coffee al qahwa they use very small cups so in this context we can say funayjinun uh, and then we have dinarun and from dinar we have dunaydi uh, dunaynirun 
which means also uh, a dinar as well. So these are basically um, uh, examples of the uh, examples of the noun when we make it smaller. Uh, as, as we mentioned that these are not used a lot in the modern standard Arabic and they are used uh, they were used in the, in the in the past in the poetry or in the past tense or in the past Arabic and we can see over here that examples of the uh, which we have on the pattern of I have given you two examples from the Quran and then you can figure out more examples if there are in the Quran and if you find an example of and uh, please try um, you know like share it with us in the group so that we know that there are some other examples as well uh, we will need one more class inshallah uh, to complete this lesson uh, because we have to discuss the vocabulary as well so inshallah slowly but surely uh, after completing this lesson uh, we will inshallah move into different ideas however this lesson as the sheikh says if you have learned this lesson that means you have learned a lot of less, lot of lessons. Uh, so please go go back to the handouts, go back to the previous lessons, uh, try to write down all the small points that we have over here, and try to find the examples from the Quran as many as you can. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much.